Hey guys, welcome back. So we have two first today on our channel. Number one, we are doing our very first ever product showcase, all right? Uh, and not just that, we are also showcasing our very first motherboard, all right? So this motherboard was sent over by MSI. So a very big thank you to MSI. Uh, but specifically, we're looking at the MSI Mag Z590 Torpedo motherboard. Now, some of you might be asking like, what's the difference between a product showcase and a video review? Now, one very big difference. Now, for a motherboard, you know, to fully test it out, I would need to set it up on the test bench, you know, uh, and because it's a Z590 uh, motherboard, you know, I have to put in the Intel chip uh, and I don't have an Intel chip. I don't have a test bench. I don't have enough components to sort of set up a separate test bench. Every PC thing I own is in there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a product showcase where we talk about the main features, sort of give a breakdown of what they mean, because not everyone might know what they mean. So this is really just to see if this motherboard is for you. It is not a full review. All right. So looking at the board again. So yeah, the Mac Z590 torpedo motherboard. Now there is also a Tomahawk, a Z590 Tomahawk motherboard. Uh, and actually a very good friend of mine broke down that motherboard in terms of the details very, very well. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. All right. So let, before we open it up, let's take a look at some of the key features at the back. All right. So first thing you've got your extended heatsink. So I would assume the heatsink is just a bit bigger uh, than usual. We'll take a look at that. Uh, your I.O. Apparently it's the I.O. shield is actually pre-built. Uh, and if you're wondering what's the big deal now, if any of you have ever set up your own PC, you will know sometimes you would set up, uh, install the motherboard into your case and then realize you forgot to put the IO shield or even handling it. It can be pretty sharp sometimes. And yes, I've cut myself before. Uh, and yes, because I'm a bit of a PC building noob. But anyway, so you've got audio boost here as well. So these are real tech uh, components. I'm assuming that all the capacitors and all that are going to be shielded uh, in the corner. And looking at the picture, I kind of assume this is what it is. Okay, you've got your supposedly mighty power design, speaking about your VRMs. Uh, you've got Lightning Gen 4. All right, so yes, because this is a Z590 motherboard, uh, this supports uh, Intel's 11th gen, so their latest generation of CPUs. And those CPUs actually support PCI Gen 4. Now, you might know that they were supported first on AMD's latest version of CPU, but now, yes, you've got them on Intel as well. And of course, um, you know, with your SSDs and rather these are M.2 SSDs on the motherboard, uh, you've actually got this M2 shield frozer, that's what they call it, uh, to sort of, you know, give you better thermal performance and make sure that the SSDs don't overheat. Um, yep, in your IO, you got the whole uh, preview of how the, all the IOs at the back of the motherboard are all uh, stacked up. But anyway, let's not waste too much time. Let's open up. I'm quite excited actually. All right, so you've got the motherboard. Not going to go, I'm not going to open that quite yet. Before we do that, I'm going to see what else. Is that it? Um, I'm sure there's stuff. Ah, okay. So you've got more stuff underneath. All right. You have, I'm guessing this is an MSI sticker. It looks like a metallic sticker. That's actually quite nice. It feels pretty solid. Um, you've got more stickers here. So different sort of camo design. Now you will see later with the motherboard, it's sort it's got sort of like a military-ish uh, team to it. Uh, you've got more stickers here. These are the MSI logos. You've got sort of a uh, grey black camo. You're in regular green camo. I'm not quite sure what this is, but still has a very army feel to it. A lot of other stickers here. I'm, I'm assuming this is either for that extended heatsink, either that or on the uh, SSD covers. I think this is more for the heatsink uh, at the top. But what else do we get? I'm sure we get a whole bunch of documentation. Yep. Thank you for choosing MSI. Okay, yes, you're welcome. We've got a shout out document here. I'm guessing these are like the manuals. Okay, quick installation guide, uh, all sorts of other stuff. The user guide, all right. So user guide, I'm not gonna go through that. Um, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. This is very cool, actually. So what this is, so if, you, if you're like me and you haven't actually built a comp, uh, PC in a really long time and yes, I have not built my own PC in a really long time uh, For the drivers you used to get them in a CD All right, and after you're done with the CD You're not gonna use it because sometimes you don't even use the CD because by the time you buy the motherboard There are newer drivers online. So you will probably download them anyway 
But here you get a thumb drive. That is fantastic because, you know, you can actually use this again after you're done. I'm assuming it's a regular thumb drive with the drivers inside. I'm not entirely sure uh, what the capacity is or whether there is a built-in program that when you plug in, maybe it auto-updates for you. That would be really cool. And if it doesn't MSI, maybe you might want to think about that. Uh, what else? So we've got this. We have, well, your regular SATA cables. You get the regular straight SATA cables and you get the right angle SATA cables. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, there you go. It was stuck in between the documentation. Yeah, so you've got the... Okay, I think this is actually just for the SSD covers. The SSD uh, like heat sinks because there are not enough screws here for it to be the standoff on your PC case. And I assume in the PC case that you buy, they probably have standoff screws anyway. So these ones are just for the SSDs. All right, so we got the motherboard here. Now, I'm pretty sure, and I think I read, yeah, so it supports Gen 4 because this is a Z590 board. I believe the newer B460 boards might not have Gen 4, but again, I'm not entirely sure. Um, man, the heat sinks are huge. So you can see here, the heat sinks are for the VRMs. So these are the VRMs here, all right? So as you can see, I hope my camera can pick it up. These are the heat sinks and these are massive. And yes, so I can, pretty much confirm that that sticker that you saw earlier, you know, all the different camo stickers, uh, it's probably for this. So it's the stick on top of this, all right? So you've got four uh, RAM slots over here, uh, DDR4, and, and I think it's got something special called DDR Boost. Uh, you've got your, uh, the chipset here is an LGA 12, I think 1200 something chipset. Uh, you've got, okay, so this one is the Gen 4. So this is the Gen 4 slot. So if I open this, you would see uh, the slot over here. All right, over here, you have you have two separate PCIe slots. Now, this one has a metal shield over it. I, I forgot what MSI calls it. Uh, or steel armor, I think. So basically, they've reinforced the slot so that you know, it can handle uh, GPUs that are really heavy. You know, now with the newest RTX series, all that, some of them are massive. Ah, cool. So, okay, you've got three actually three m2 slots but only number one all right is the one that uh, supports gen 4 you've got number two you've got three over here the three one is not the third one is not shielded uh this one is actually for your intel uh optane memory okay so this was the audio uh part i was talking about uh, i believe they called it audio boost uh so these are it's, it's done by realtek so this is the realtek chip over here these are the capacitors and I think the way they've designed it is so that, you know, it's it's shielded because if your audio stuff is not shielded, when you turn it on, you're going to get a lot of electric interference. Uh, and oh yeah, so you can see over here, the IO shield is already pre-installed, right? So you don't have to put it on and then uh, put the shield on after that, it's already there. And honestly, I don't know why it took so long for <laughs> uh, manufacturers to come up with this. So you've got a whole bunch of USB uh, slots over here you've also got a display port you've also got hdmi uh, but i believe this one supports 4k up to 60 hertz all right uh, that's all uh you've got display port. i'm not entirely sure which version that is okay so i just checked the specs again so the um hdmi here is hdmi 2.0 b all right and then you've got your display port 1.4 but of course if you're going to buy this board you're definitely going to buy a gpu so you're not going to use that uh, once again, you've got all your different different uh, USB ports here. You've even got Type-C as well. Now, you've got two um, LAN ports over here. You've got your usual gigabit and you've got your 2.5 gigabit. For audio, you've got your usual surround sound support. You've also got your SPDIF uh, or your optical out, your mic in and all that. All right, so in terms of headers, you've got a, wow, you've got a whole bunch of different RGB headers. You've got your system fan headers. Uh, you've got all SATA. So how many SATAs do you have? So you've got one, you've got two, three, four, five, six. You also supposed to have an eight plus four uh, connector for your, uh, over here. All right, so you've got your eight, eight pin plus four pin. Um, but yeah, overall really, really cool actually. And if you look at it again, you can see, you know, you've got like the whole sort of uh, military vibe. And looking at it now, I just realized something. Like this might be one of the first new uh, motherboards that I've seen that does not have any RGB. All right, so before we talk about whether I would recommend it uh, based on the showcase itself, uh, let's talk about the price. So price-wise, uh, in Singapore, it was really hard to find the price. I searched all over 
Uh, I searched some websites, couldn't find a local pricing. I, I even searched um, and called some people. They didn't have the pricing for me. However, I did find some listings uh, online in the, on US source. So they're selling it for about 240 uh, US dollars. Uh, one British website sold it for about 215 pounds. Uh, a direct you know, uh, currency change from about 240 US is about 320 Singapore dollars. Although I do expect it uh, to be a bit more expensive in Singapore than that. It's not just a simple uh, exchange rate. But in terms of whether I would recommend this, I think really depends on your needs. Now, if you're just going to use an Intel uh, chip, you're going to put in just regular gaming, you're not going to overclock. Um, I would probably say maybe go for uh, uh, the B, the new B460 boards. Uh, and But do remember that this and the B460 also supports 10th gen, all right, in case you're wondering, uh, not just 11th gen, although there's no word whether, you know, a future motherboard will work with the same chip or whether a, a future chip is going to work with the same motherboard, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but if you do intend to overclock because you can't overclock with the B460, uh, you know, like the RAM, it can be overclocked all the way to 5, triple three, 5,333 megahertz, I, I think. Uh, if you do intend to do all that, then yeah, I think this would be a good buy. Uh, quality seems really, really good. All right, so that about wraps up our very first product showcase and very first showcase of a motherboard. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, I'll see you real soon.